Today, we show you how to crop an image so you can have a transparent background. How about that? Let's get started with some Photoshop stuff. Hey everyone, this is Zach with PC Simplest. And kind of like we said, we are going to take some images and we are going to show you how we can make a transparent background. And this is gonna be my method of doing this. And I'm sure there's multiple methods of doing this, but this is all done in Photoshop. And basically, and we're gonna to go to my screen now, but you can see in this uh, version of Photoshop that I'm running with, I, th I think it's CS4, yeah, CS4. So this actually pretty much works in almost all versions of Photoshop as far as I know. I'm not sure how far back it goes, maybe even like Photoshop 7, which is super old. Uh, this should even work. But um, we're going to try it from this one here. And basically, like I said, it's kind of the same thing, however you do it. So uh, basically what we need to do first is open up one of our images. And right now we're just going to go with this image right here. And this is actually, um, Lulzbot is a 3D printing company and I ordered a 3D printer from them. So stay tuned for videos on that. That'll be exciting. But anyway... What we have here is our image, and I'm going to show you my method of doing this, and like I said, it could be completely wrong, but it works for me. So what we did is we opened up our image in Photoshop, and what we're going to do is we are just going to, we're going to copy the image, and like I said, this is my method of doing it, and we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to hit OK, and then we're just going to paste this image. That way we have a un locked layer, and I'm sure there's a way to unlock it, but I've been doing it this method for years, so... Bear with me, this this is my way. Anyway, so now we have our our unlocked layer of our image here, and uh, I don't know why we have a background here, but we're gonna uncheck that box for background. And now we're gonna go over here to our magic wand tool. And what we wanna do is we wanna long, or just click on this, we're gonna long press on it, and we're gonna do magic wand tool. And from here, Anywhere in the open area, we're just going to do one click. And you'll see that it has all the squiggly or, you know, dotted lines here at saying, all right, what do you want to do now? So we click in this area, and what we're going to do is just hit Control-X on our keyboard. So as soon as you hit Control-X, you see that our white background has disappeared. It's no longer there. So now we have a transparent background. But you'll see, and I'm glad I used this image, because it has a B and O in the text there. And you can see that there's a white background there too. So if you just click over there and do the same thing again, uh, just click in that white area, do control X, white area, control X, it gets rid of that white background. And again, you now you have a transparent background for your image. And basically whatever image you use, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go ahead and open it up. We'll do this Apple logo. And again, my method, bear with me, pretty it's pretty easy to do, um, really quick, you know, we just highlight it, control X, and we get rid of that background there. And you can see here, it didn't get all of it because the image ended at a certain point, so we have to go here and control X again. Now we have a transparent background, so all we need to do is go to file, uh, save for web and devices, and we want to make sure, I always like to save my image as a PNG at the 24-8, so uh, I suggest you use PNG, that's the definitely, in my opinion, the best image um, resolution and format to save all of your images as. Anyway, uh, all you need to do is go ahead and click save, and we can save this in, to our desktop, and we'll save that as transparent apple, and it saves. We can go to our desktop, and now we have transparent apple, and you can see already the difference that it made on my desktop because our first apple logo has the white background. This one is actually taking our blue background um, from our desktop, but um, and you'll see the difference. We have all black compared to the white. So if you are uploading this to the web and you want it to be transparent and for whatever background you have on your web page or wherever you're going to use this for any reason whatsoever, that's how you make a transparent background with, out of any image. If you have comments, questions, concerns, feel free to hit me up below and I'll be happy to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. That's our video. That's how to do it. Take it easy.